Hello, I'm Trent, aka Otrademark here, and this is Anime Power Simulator. So Anime Power Simulator is basically just like an Anime Fighters ripoff. Uh, it's, it's very similar to Anime Fighters, actually. Uh, so you have the summoning, uh, the, the animations, everything look very, very similar. I would say anime fighters actually look better on the summoning, but they do have some kind of improvements. Like you see the star, what color you're actually going to get right before. So you can see, I just got that legendary. Um, this game has a few new things. I guess you could call them new or different. They have these skills right here where when you kill the mini bosses a hundred times or the main bosses 150 times, you get, you unlock the skill. And you can see it does a ton of damage. Well, the higher levels of skill you unlock and the stronger your units are, the more damage your ability is going to, to give. And this game just updated today and they released this brand new world. I have no idea what is in it. Um, I just barely loaded up the game today for the first time. Um, but it's a brand new world. So I, I assume there's something that's like new in this area. I just opened a little bit and didn't really check all this world out. But let me see if I can kind of like showcase what the game has and doesn't have compared to Anime Fighter. So it has all the units. Um, the the actual the actual unit interface is really bad. Like the UI here, there's no way to sort. There's no way to uh, to search for a specific unit. <laughs> so like. Literally, you have to like scroll down and find any of your rare units that you want or just auto delete everything that you don't want. At least there is an auto sell. Uh, so I have that pretty aggressive right now. So I don't have to sort through a bunch of junk to find what I want. Um, but yeah, so let, let's talk about uh, the differences. So skills are new in this game. Um, the, these godly units are really just craftable units. So like if we go back to uh, Luck Kingdom here, I can show you guys. So we have uh, a whole bunch of these. In fact, let's just go to uh, Super Planet because I have five Brolies, I think, that I made. And if we go down to the Godly Units area, it's basically just like craftable units or raid units in Anime Fighters. And then there are shiny units, but they're called Royals in this game. And in order to make a uh, craftable godly unit as they call it or a, like a shiny craft unit you need the secret which is kind of a cool thing hopefully they're very strong um but let's unlock our brolies real quick so that we can show you guys how it works you basically get five of them just like anime fighters four and five and then you come over here craft and we're gonna get a godly unit and then again oh, okay it's golden freeze it looks like so that's kind of cool let's feed all this stuff the Frieza make sure we're not grabbing anything we don't want to there we go uh, so Frieza I'm not sure how strong uh, he's gonna be right now he's not stronger than my shiny Yami but uh, yeah so that I mean that's the unit interface I will say that the animations are pretty cool in this game so if we go back to world 2 uh, where their units are a little bit stronger let's actually put on Frieza, just so we can see the animation. I'm gonna unequip one of my lights here, put on Golden Frieza, and then let's take a look at some of the attack animations. So we're gonna go up here to the boss. Uh, there should be a boss somewhere around here. All right, so what is the same, what is different? The game passes are all very similar. I will say one thing that this game does well, they give you the teleport game pass for free. So all players allow you to teleport anywhere you want. That's kind of cool. Also, they give you the magnet game pass. There is no magnet game pass. What it is is no matter how far away you are from a unit when it dies, you get the money, which is cool because I didn't really like the magnet game pass as a, as a function. I just felt like it was kind of pointless. Everyone deserves to have that. When it's just kind of like an annoyance, I don't like that as a game pass idea i mean i buy them because i don't like annoying aspect or annoying things in games but yeah uh i like that they included those two things for uh free like i said the skills are free and then the animations for the units are actually quite well done um i won't say that they're better than anime fighters because some of the early at oh so, yeah so you saw the uh uh golden frieza attack there pretty cool let's go attack the boss because he's a little bit stronger but some of the early anime fighters animations were incredible. Like the early uh, Berthold animation, you know, like uh, uh, Eto 
was really awesome when it came out. There were a lot of amazing Anime Fighters animations, and I feel like after the DMCA strike, and because a lot of players just hide, hide, hid the animations, they kind of moved away from that, and they kind of just became very basic animations that weren't as cool. Uh, some of these are, are kind of cool, but I wouldn't necessarily label them cooler than uh, some of those old school anime fighter animations. Uh, another thing that this game has is uh, raids. So they have these raids that spawn in, which basically the raids are very valuable. In fact, if I can find where the raid area is on this map, there is a raid. Um, so the skills are do a ton of damage. You always want to make sure you're spamming your skill. I haven't been, but... Uh, let me try a different uh, skill. Sh shock, shock a hole. <laughs> Sh shock a hole. <laughs> shock a hole. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's find the raid. Let's find the raid person around here because I want to show you guys what you can actually unlock an extra equip, an extra star to open with. And you can unlock like mounts and a bunch of really cool stuff. So raids are extremely important in this game. Uh, you, and all the raids give five raid tokens. So you don't really need to like specifically go for a certain raid. I can't find the raid guy here. Um, maybe I'm blind or whatever. He's just hiding in a corner. But I'm a little disappointed in this world. Like it's a brand new world as you see here. World 1 and then World 2. So I would, I was hoping that they'd introduce some new feature. Here's my main problem with games like this. Is that they just feel like... They feel like anime fighter clones. But they haven't innovated. You know like, like skills are new. But they're not enough to really like captivate me. I will say this game is good. It's, it's definitely... Uh, nostalgic it's brought back some memories about anime fighters i'll probably keep playing it for a little bit but i don't know that i'm going to continue to play it unless they can bring something new to the table kind of innovate the uh, game space because i mean the truth is like anime fighters was on a decline so you can't just you can't just imitate them and expect to do amazing Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe this game will blow up and I'm I'm wrong on it. Let me know if you guys check it out. Again, it's called Anime Power Simulator. I'll put a link in the description. Let me know if you guys enjoy it, uh, what aspects you enjoy or, or dislike about it, because um, I think it's a solid start. Like if we compare Anime Fighters, th I think this game has been out for like two months. If we compare Anime Fighters at month two to this, they were probably in pretty similar states. You know, like there wasn't dungeons, there wasn't, a lot of things back then but i mean this game doesn't even have like passives which was one of the biggest aspect of or aspects of anime fighters so yeah i was hoping something new would come to the game here and i maybe i maybe there is something i just haven't seen it that's hiding in one of these corners or something but uh yeah it looks pretty similar to the everything we've seen so far and um i don't know if there's anything else i'm missing i don't have any mounts unlocked we have the items, which are all pretty similar to that. The game passes are all pretty similar. I would say probably one of the most valuable game passes is the plus three equips. It's only like 300 Robux in this, which is very valuable to basically double your damage. Um, and then, yeah, I haven't gotten a secret unit. There is secret units in this game, but I haven't gotten one yet. So I don't know. I'll keep playing it. Maybe get my first secret unit or so. Check out uh, the crafted godly units. See how good those are. But um, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comments below. And uh, can we gift game passes in here? I'll do a giveaway if we can gift game. I don't think we can gift, but if we can um, leave a, let's do hashtag uh, game pass. Hashtag game pass, comment that in the description below. If you, we get the ability to gift this, I'll go ahead and pick a comment and send someone a game pass for this, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think about Anime Power Simulator. Anyways, guys, Malo Albito. Thanks for watching. Peace. I'm out of here.